Burke, who has been briefed on the talks, said there would be language around accelerating action to achieve net zero emissions by or around mid-century. That would include an acknowledgement that countries' emissions reductions plans, known as nationally determined contributions, over this decade need to put them on track for net zero by 2050. Some countries' current NDCs do not put them on track to achieve net zero goals for the mid-century, several analyses have shown. Scientists say that the world must have emissions over this decade to have any chance of hitting net zero by 2050 and containing global warming to around 1.5 degrees, the G20 agreement is also expected to reaffirm the commitment for wealthy nations to transfer $100 billion a year in climate finance to the global south, an existing agreement that has not been fulfilled, Burke said. A recent report from the COP26 presidency showed that the world would not meet this target until 2023. It will also agree to the mobilization of money from financial institutions, especially development banks, to fill the gap and fund a global green recovery. It should also include a first-time acknowledgement of the significant contribution of methane emissions to climate change and the need for its reduction. The US and EU are leading the global methane pledge which more than 60 countries have signed, agreeing to cut methane emissions by 30% over this decade. Methane emissions come largely from leaky fossil fuel infrastructure as well as livestock. Australia has said it will not sign on to the pledge. Other major methane emitters, including Indonesia, have signed on. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.